Bubbles. You've been asking how to post a carousel on Instagram, so I'm going to show you. You find a carousel, take a picture of it, and then you post it to your Instagram account. Easy. What's up everyone? In this video I'm going to show you how to post a carousel to Instagram with the Graph API PHP SDK. A lot of you have been requesting this video, so here we go. By the end of this video, we will have our script here looking something like this, where we set up our carousel and we submit it to Instagram. And once we run our script, we will get a little debug here telling us about each carousel item, their IDs on Instagram, and finally at the very bottom, we will have our post on Instagram. This is the section where the post is actually made live on our feed. Now if we hop over to Instagram, and our post should be up. There it is. For this video, we're going to be creating a carousel which has three items, two images, the image to my YouTube thumbnail, a picture of me and Bubbles, and then a video of Bubbles splashing in the sink. And you can have up to 10 items in a carousel. Alright, so we're going to get started over on my GitHub JStolpy and my repository Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. We're going to hop over to the wiki and we're going to look at the Instagram user media. Here's where we can get the code snippets to create image containers, video containers, and then the carousel containers. When you're uploading a carousel to Instagram, you have to create a container ID for each video and each image in the carousel. And if we look at the carousel snippet right here, you see children is just an array of container IDs. And if we scroll up here looking at the image container, this is a code snippet right here for creating an image container ID. And this image container ID right here is what you will put in the children array for the carousel container. For us, we're going to have an array here of three container IDs two images, and one video. Let's begin by creating our first image. I'm going to copy the code snippet here for image IG container, and we're going to paste that right here in our editor. All right, so the first thing we are looking at here is we're using the media class from the PHP SDK. Now, in order to use this class, we have to specify some config parameters. First, we're going to specify our Instagram user ID, and then our access token. If you don't know how to get either of these things, I have created a video tutorial for each of them. If we hop back over to the homepage for our wiki, there's a YouTube tutorial link right here. If I open this up, it'll take us right to my Instagram Graph API PHP SDK playlist. And here we have our access tokens video and our account IDs video. So you go out, you get those two things, and then you place them right here. Once those are set up, we can instantiate our media object, and then we can begin specifying our first image container parameters. So let's call this card one params, because this is going to be the first card in our carousel. The carousel, we don't need a caption, because that will be on the carousel container ID later in the video. Then we have our image URL. The image URL has to be on a public server somewhere. As you see, I have uploaded my YouTube thumbnail here to my server. So that is a live URL. We're going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to place that right in here for our image URL. Then we have our location ID. You can specify this. It would be a Facebook page ID and then the Instagram API would pull in the location for you from that page. Then you can tag the users in the image uh, just by specifying an array of users, their username, and the coordinates in the image. For this video, we will not be tagging any users, so we can just get rid of that item from our parameters. Now, this is the important part here for creating a carousel. You have to specify the is carousel item to be true. If we created this image container for our image without this parameter here, it would default to false, and then you cannot use this container ID later when we set up our carousel container. So we have our card one parameters, then we're going to pass those along to our media and do a create. Let's call this card one container. And when we get the response back from there, it will contain our ID for that container. So we'll say card one ID. And this is the ID that we will be putting into the children's array when we create our carousel later on. Before we move on any further, let's make sure this is working. So we're going to echo out our carousel item 1 ID, and then we want to also display out the card1 container object as well. So now when we run this in the browser, hopefully we get a container ID back. We're running our code over in the browser, and take a little while to think, uploading that image to Instagram, there we got it back. Our carousel item 1, we got an ID back so we know that it's successfully created, and that is the item 1 ID we would use in the children's array. Now that we know that's working, we can go ahead and we're going to do this exact same thing right here for our second card. We'll call this card 2 params. And we're going to specify our second image, which I've also uploaded on my server of me and Bubbles. And then the important part is carousel item must be set to true, and then we can pass along our card 2 params and create our card 2 container. We'll call this card 2 ID, and we get that from our card to container the ID key. Place a nice little debugging heading out here for item 2, card 2 ID, and card 2 container. Alright, so now we have our card 1 and card 2 IDs being set up. We can move on to creating our card 3, which is the video. Back over to the wiki, uh, IG user media. 
we're going to scroll down and now we're going to copy our video IG container code. This is a snippet to create a video container. Paste that here for our third card. Now the video uh, uses the user media object as well, so we can get rid of that since we're already using that up above. Uh, the same config since it's the same class, and we also have already created our new media. So really all we need to do is start at our params, which is our card3 params. The video is mostly the same, but there are a few different parameters. Again, we're going to get rid of the caption for the carousel because that's coming later. The video URL is also a URL that has to be on a live server accessible by anybody. So I uploaded mine again. I got bubbles spinning in the sync here. .mp4 uploaded on my server. Media type. For videos, we have to specify video. The most important item for creating these containers when you want a carousel is setting the is carousel item to true. Location ID, we're not going to include that. And then our thumbnail offset is the number of milliseconds in the video to get the thumbnail from. We'll just do a thousand. And then the rest is the same. We have our card three container. We will use our card three params. And we will finally get our card three ID from our card three container. Again, copy and paste our little debug title here. Now the thing about video containers is that they take a little they can take a little while to upload to Instagram. So back in our original script here that we ran, we go down to carousel item three. You see here that this is our video, and we start pinging the video container to make sure that that's ready. The first time we pinged it, it said in progress. This means that we can't continue. If we try to publish this ID to Instagram, we will fail. So we just keep checking every few seconds, and finally it it will come back as finished. Finished. That means that it's finished and the container ID is valid and will work when we add it to the children's array for our carousel. If we added it to the children's array when it was in progress, the carousel post would fail. So we wait till it's finished and then we move on to our carousel container. But first we have to make sure we're checking the video every few seconds. To do that, we're gonna go over to the wiki, the IG container endpoint. This endpoint will get us the status of the container. So we're gonna copy this snippet right here. We're gonna paste that right here. So we're using a new class here, container. And we're just going to place that up here under our, our user media use statement. Like our media, we have a config array. And that config array is going to contain our container ID that we're going to be checking. In this case, it is our card3 ID. And then, of course, with all calls, our access token. Then we simply pass that config to our container. And we can get that container info by calling container get self. But like I said, we need to keep checking this endpoint right here, this get self. So we're going to wrap it in a while. And we're going to check the container status code, which we need to initialize. And as long as it's not equal to finished, we're going to keep we're going to keep running this while loop. Now in this while loop, we're going to get the container info back and we are going to add a few more lines. We get the container info. We're going to set the status code either equal to what we got back. We're going to print out the info we got back just for debugging and the status code as well. Add a few line breaks in there and then we're going to sleep for one second. So we're not just pinging this constantly. When we initially fall in here, we're going to get the info and the status code right here is going to be in progress. It's going to be in progress. And so it's going to print that out and then it's going to sleep and it's going to be not finished. So we're going to run the while loop again. And finally, when we do get that finished response back, we can move on. This means the video is ready to be used in our carousel. So for our carousel, back to the wiki we go, back to the IG user media. And now our last container code snippet is our carousel IG container. We're going to copy this snippet right here. And we're going to paste that here after our while loop. We can get rid of the user media and the config that has already been set up and the media. And we're going to start with our parameters. And first we have the caption for our post. Then we have our children array. Here we go. We're going to post our card one ID, our card two ID, and our card three ID. Card one is the image. Card two is also an image. And then our card three ID is our video. There's our children all set up. Uh, we're not going to specify location with this and we're not going to take any users in this either. So we've created our carousel parameters. Now all we have to do is pass those along and create that media. And like the images and videos, we also have a carousel container. Comes back the exact same way. We get an ID for our carousel container, which will need to be published. So again, I'm going to copy our little debug heading here. This is going to be our carousel container. Carousel container ID, and then we'll print out our carousel container response. Now the carousel container is like the video, so we have to check the status code and make sure that it's finished. Otherwise, it will not publish. We're going to start checking our carousel container just like we started checking our video container by specifying our config. Let's give this a different name so we know the difference. The config video container. And then we're going to do the same thing here 
for our carousel, config carousel container. And we'll reset our status code to empty, and we're going to go ahead and check that. And while our container status code is not finished, we will keep checking. And once we have a status of finished, we can actually publish it to Instagram. Back over in our wiki, we scroll down to the user media publish. This is a little snippet for publishing media to Instagram. And you see all we need is a container ID, which is our carousel container ID that we have created. So we have a new use statement here. We're just going to move this up to the top with the rest of them config is also the same as the media, which is also defined with our user ID and access token. All it's left to do is create a new class for our media publish with our config array and our published post is simply media publish create and here's our container ID, our carousel container ID. We're going to copy that and paste that right here. And let's get ourselves a nice debug heading here, post on IG, and then we'll print out our published post. And we're going to run our script again, and it will take some time. The images usually go quickly, so carousels 1 and 2 should go quickly, but item 3 is that video where we have to keep pinging the server to make sure that our um, container ID is set to finished. And then we can move on into the carousel and post it. Uh, looks like it's done. We have our carousel item 1 looking good, our image. Carousel item 2, our second item. Carousel item 2, which is also looking good. Our carousel item 3. Looks good, we got an ID there, that's our video. And then right after that is where we start pinging it to check about the status. Here we see in progress, progress, in progress, and then we just wait and wait, ping the server until we get that finished back, which is right there. Then we can move on to our carousel, which looks like we got a container ID back for that. Um, that's where we passed our three children along, you see that right here. Those are the three IDs that were just generated above. And then we start checking the carousel container. Looks like it's in progress, progress, in progress, until we get to finished. Now that it's been finished, we can post our carousel to Instagram, and this is the post on Instagram, and this is the ID for that post on Instagram. Now all we have to do is hop over to Instagram, refresh our profile. There, there's our post on Instagram. Three dots, it's a good sign. That means we have one image, which is our tube thumbnail image. We have our picture of me and Bubbles, and then finally it will be our video of Bubbles uh, in the sink. And our caption here showed up just like we specified. And that is going to wrap up posting a carousel to the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was one of the most requests that I've been seeing in the comments. So go ahead and keep those coming. Uh, in the description, you can find links to the GitHub repository, the Instagram Graph documentation, uh, the, the whole playlist for the Instagram Graph API. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.